What I'm up to, Byron, is I'm looking at your favorite animal having a morning drink at Gallego Pan. There's a whole bunch of them that are coming down. There's still more that are on their way. So it's quite a nice large herd that is here. And there's a beautiful big female in there. You can see, look at her long tusk, the one right in the middle. And lots of little babies. And there's playfulness in the little ones. They've been running around all over the show. So happy that we've got you at the perfect time to see them drink. They were in deep dense thickets and you can see the rest of them starting to come from the background now there's the rest of the herd now arriving as soon as not going to be enough space around this small pan for all of these guys that is a wonderful sight to see lions everywhere a big herd of elephants it doesn't get much better than this i think we've had a cracking morning this morning so sassy me you say yay elephants and I believe a lot of more of you are also commenting on the fact that we've got Ellie's. And there's two very playful bulls that are right at the back. You can see the trees are trembling already and they're pushing one another around. So I'm sure they'll join us shortly. And look at the little one going out to greet everybody. Hello, guys. This is so cool. Ellie's everywhere. I always get so happy when I see lots of elephants. It makes me smile. And especially when we get groupings like this where they congregate around a water hole there generally is a bit of jostling there's lots of rumbling when they join there we go typical whenever you get elephants joining at a water hole as i was just about to say lots of grumbling and carrying on as they try and jostle for position and sort themselves out around the water hole so you will get that trumpet that comes out but that was very cool we had a perfect perfect spot for that trumpet so taylor is in fc and she says that this is a herd that she's been seeing a lot lately and one of the females has a hole in her ear and that you've all started calling them the holy cow herd so, well it is probably a very good name for them i imagine this is the herd that taylor's been seeing it's not the same herd that i saw the other day in the mulawati though we definitely didn't have a female with long tusks like this so holy cow herd or not it is still wonderful to see this many elephants all around us it's really is an absolute privilege when you get to spend time around them and see them playing and frolicking and going crazy around water and especially the young bulls I always love when they get to water for some reason water brings out the kid in a young bull elephant and they then push one another around and play and it all gets quite feisty it's fun to watch and hopefully we'll see more of the same a little bit later but they're just now resting some of them that have finished drinking they're just off on my left hand side and they're taking it easy because they're probably waiting for the rest to finish up oh look at that female resting on the back of the other one how cool is that that's what kids are for is just to put your trunk and tusks over them so that you can make sure you can take a bit of weight off the old shoulders the little one didn't like that that much It's amazing just to listen to the roughness of their skin. Oh, look, mom has just disciplined one of the young ones who was pushing her baby. So she said, you will not touch my baby. That is mine and you do not push anywhere. Amazing to see how the maternal instinct kicks in. Even within the herd, if they get too close to their young ones, they then do push like this and they make sure that their little baby is protected. So you can see the little one is now standing close to mom. Okay, mom, don't be upset with us. It wasn't us that pushed your little girl. Oh boy, to be able to sex them at that age. I always love when baby elephants walk with the adults because they're almost as though they battle to keep up and they have to run and try and, especially down the hills, to try and sort of match the female's pace. Oh, she's a big girl, that female. Travis, you say it's like the babies have hit the fast forward button. Exactly. I love it when they have to run downhill. It seems as though their little bodies kind of fall into free motion and the legs have to try and catch up. It's a series of miscalculated tripping events that happens when a little baby elephant runs down a hill. So always fun to watch. It's amazing to think that as they appear, 
they're going to disappear into these thickets. I think they're heading down towards maybe Gari Dam for a mud wallow and a splash. So we'll probably try and keep up with them. It's going to be difficult. We'll lose visual of them at some point, and then we'll have to just loop around and hope that they come out towards the dam. They are heading generally in that direction. The problem is sometimes after drinking, you'll find that they do go into a feeding mode and then it takes them quite some time to get down towards the dam so if we don't get them at the dam this morning those of you that are watching watch the dam cam a little bit later should be some frolicking elephants in the mud just now the thing is though is the Nkuma pride is about to get a big wake up call because directly where we are if we had to draw a straight line to the east is where the Nkuma pride is sleeping so they might just get a elephant surprise fairly shortly that will push them out of their slumber and hopefully it won't chase them too far because we don't want them to go off the property for this afternoon. I want Taylor to at least get to spend some time with the Nkuma Pride before her last drive. So hopefully the Ellies will behave themselves and they'll miss the lines by turning slightly south towards the dam itself. Now we've got one elephant that's posing. He's got his foot up, just showing everybody. Yes, that's my foot. Oh no, he's now put it down again. But there's a young bull that had his foot on a stump there and was kind of almost posing with it as just to say this is my model cover photo shoot and is now ambling off. It's that elephant that's moving off now. 